Welcome to Desert Isle Crafting. I'm Christy. How is everybody today? I hope y'all are doing good for a Saturday. It's Saturday, October 1st. Did September just fly by? Wow, so fast it went. It's already October. Um, I hope this finds you all well. What you been up to? I tried to make this video four times yesterday and my voice just was not cooperating at all. So um, some of these things have I've already taken out of their little plastic bags, but I hope you won't mind because I really do want to show them to you. This video is some items from New Craft Day. They sent them to me for review, and I've got cross stitch and diamond painting and an accessory. So let's get into it. The first thing I want to show you is this diamond painting. I thought this was very, very pretty and different. It's that stained glass look, which I really love. I love stained glass. And this is a butterfly. It's not real big. It's only a 30 by 30 centimeter. Let's see what the actual measurement on it is. So we've got nine and three quarter inches, which is about 25 centimeters by pretty much close to the same. It's got your legend on both sides, your item number in case you need to contact the company if you run out of any drills, and a picture of the finished butterfly up there. Directions on the bottom if you're new to diamond painting. This is just so colorful. Let's see how sticky it is. Very nice stick, very nice stick, and a very sparkly, I don't know if you can tell, we've got some sparkle going on. The canvas is stiff, but it's not too stiff. Poured glue, which is always the best. For the toolkit, we've got the standard toolkit with the pink pen. There's no multi-placers with this. A pad of wax and a little green tray. And then the diamonds. Not a whole lot of colors here, only 16. But I think for a small one, I think it'll be fine. I have learned the hard way with small ones to, that you lose a lot of detail. But this one I don't think you need to worry so much about. I just think that's really pretty. And they have other designs in this stained glass look. Let's look at just one of the colors. On the packet, you've got the number one, which would make it the number one on your legend. It shows the symbol for this is going to be Z. So you're going to put it wherever you find any of the Z's. Like right there. And it's DMC code number 152. So if you do run out, you know what color you need. Or if you save your extras, you can um, categorize them with that DMC code. I save my extras. I've got some photo boxes full of them. I have them all organized by DMC code. And I have had to go back on diamond paintings and either I've ran out or I've spilled really badly. I didn't want to wait to contact the company. And I've been able to get into my extras and find what I needed and finish the painting. So, yeah, it's worked out really, really, really well for me. So this, this is always going to tell you, not always, but on this one, it's going to tell you the item number, which is going to match that up at the top. And this color is just such a pretty coral. It's a really pretty coral color. So we've got greens, black, like a burgundy, a dark green, a, lot, a dark ivory, I'd say. That's more of a purpley mulberry color, I think. Look at that green. I just love that green. Gray, yellow, a darker yellow, brown, dark gray, and here's a little bit darker version, or let's say a light turquoise, maybe and then a darker mauve color. So I think this is going to be really pretty. It's going to be easy to do. It is round. Really pretty colors. 
And I think I, I mentioned they have uh, this with flowers and hummingbirds and all different kinds of choices on this whole stained glass look. So I think this will be an easy one to do. The price for this one was $4.32. You can't go wrong for that price. Not expensive. Not expensive. I also want to say hello to all my new subscribers. Hello to all my subscribers. Thank you so much for watching my channel. I'm <clears throat> sorry, I'm having voice problems. So if I clear my throat, please excuse me. Um, I really appreciate everybody watching my videos and subscribing. And if you're new, if you could please like, if you like it, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. So anyway, there we go. Pretty little butterfly. Very much like that. Now this next item is actually an accessory and it's a diamond painting storage bag. So let me lift this up a little bit so you can see how big it is. It's good size. It's waterproof and moisture proof. It gathers at the top. I'm going to get a measure really quick on this. So this is about, oh, 23 and a half inches by 9 inches wide. Or, let's see, on the centimeters, I think it's like 60. Yeah. Just short of 60 centimeters by 22 and a half centimeters. Comes in three different patterns, colors. It's a nylon type of material. I think this is great not just for putting in a di rolling up a diamond painting and putting it and the drills inside for storage or for overnight or perfect for travel, but it's also, I think, good for cross stitch because you can roll your cross stitch up, stick it inside, slide the, the uh, everything you need, your floss, um, your little needle cases, everything in here. And even if you want to just put it away for a while and you don't want it to get ruined because you're busy doing something else, I would simply put it inside, gather it up with this, and then hang this on a hanger in a closet. And then you know it's going to be totally safe and nothing's going to happen to it. This bag was $3.22. It's not badly made at all. It's stitched strongly. And I think it serves a lot of purposes serves a lot of purposes. I really like this. I think this is a good deal. And it's a good item to have um, just in case. Just if you want a safe storage idea. The next thing I have is another diamond painting. And I don't know. I just love this picture. When I look at smaller diamond paintings, um, what I look for is how much detail is it going to have because the detail doesn't really show up a lot on smaller ones. It's got really good stick. It's the sparkly canvas. It's stiff, but not too stiff. The plastic on this one, though, is just so much bigger than the picture. So it kind of makes a bit of a noise. We've got the picture down here. We actually, they show you the picture on both sides. It's just a pretty pearl in the ocean, in a shell. And look at that, it's got 30 colors. You've got your item number up here and the measurements. You've got your legend, which is different than the one we just looked at. This legend gives you the number of the drill you're gonna use, the symbol, it tells you the DMC code, and then it tells you how many of those drills are needed for this picture. So it says 15, like for instance on this one, and you'll see on the drills, they actually give you a lot more than you need, just in case of spillage or accidents. The tray is the white funnel tray. We've got a pen with a squishy, and it looks like it's probably a four-placer because this is a square, not a round. I love the funnel. It really helps with getting your drills back in your bag or your bottle, however you organize yours up. It comes with the big piece of wax. Looks like that's probably a nine placer. And then it comes with tweezers. Now I'm not real thrilled with these tweezers. They're um, not very, very strong. 
I use the really sharp pointy tweezers. When I do a square drill, I always use tweezers. I mean, every once in a while I'll multi-place, but the, the really sharp pointy tweezers that I've gotten with some Huacan diamond paintings work awesome. Um, the only thing is every once in a while you'll, you'll reach for it and it'll go ping and shoot across the room. <clears throat> I've actually hit my husband before. He just laughs now. He's so used to it. Um, but that's how I do it. And I, you've got, on this picture, you've got quite a few color blocking areas. You've got confetti too, but you could use a diamond place, I mean a, a multiplacer on this. If we look at the symbols, you'll see they're really clear. You know, sometimes um, with these color block areas like up here, I will do a checkerboard pattern and then I'll fill it in, maybe with a pen or with tweezers. And it seems to get them uh, straighter that way. A lot of people don't like squares because they don't think they're putting them down straight enough. But, you know, as you put them down, they do push each other into shape more. And also afterwards, <clears throat> as time goes by, the glue will start, start to shrink and it will push your drills closer together. So don't get whacked out about straight lines with this, with squares. Really, it's, um, it's something that will kind of take care of itself. Now the drills on this are just so pretty. They're so pretty. Let's look at this one. Okay, so that's number 19. It tells you the stickers on this. This kit is put together really well. It's got the number of the drill, the DMC code, and it tells you how many drills are in the bag. So over here, 19, let's see, just to compare, it says there's 3,820 needed for the actual picture but they give you 4,316. So you'll always get some extras just in case. I love how these are all bagged up individually by color. And these are not, um, you know, the, the super flimsy cheap bags. They're actually nice bags that you could save. I save these and use them to organize my drills afterwards. And I just put a different sticker over the top. The colors are very, very pretty. I'm not going to go through them all um, because there are 30 of them. But, yeah, nice sparkle. I'm not seeing any dirt or dust inside. And I'm not seeing a lot of junk. And the colors are so pretty. Let's see. Look at that. I remember I got a set of towels once and where would where did I get them from? Kohl's maybe? J.C. Penney's or something? And they called this duck egg blue. I just love the color of those. I more I like that as a sea foam too. Just very very calming, peaceful, ocean colors. If you love blue, this diamond painting is just perfect for that. Oh look at that blue! That is just beautiful. So yeah, thirty colors all individually bagged. You can make makes it really easy to start this up. You've got everything you need. And this one was seven dollars and nineteen cents. And let me tell you something else about this one. <clears throat> you can choose your size. Now you couldn't with the butterfly one, but this one you had five different sizes to choose from. So this company, New Craft Today. You pick out a picture you like, and you look, and you might be able to pick the size of the picture that you want. I picked 40 by 30 because I thought it looked like it was um, would be a good size for this image, and I'm really happy with that. But not a lot of companies out there let you pick your size. The companies on AliExpress do, um, but for like uh, these companies that we review, you don't get that so much. I really like that with New Craft Day. I think that is an excellent idea to give people an option. So there you go. There's that pretty pearl. I hope you like her. I think she's beautiful. Okay. Let me get this out of the way. 
And then we're, move, we're going to move on to cross stitch. New Craft Day has so many things on their website. They have paint by number, they have diamond painting, they have cross stitch, they have uh, diamond painting crafts. You can even do custom. You can even send them a picture and they'll make you a diamond painting with your picture. Now I saw this and I thought, oh my goodness, that's my favorite color, that teal. I thought that was just such a pretty picture. Now I don't know how it's going to translate to cross stitching, but boy, I just love that picture. So I figured, oh, it was worth a try. Okay. So there it is without the glare. Also down below, uh, New Craft Day has given me a discount code for y'all. So if you go to their website and you want to place an order, you put in Desert 10. I'll have that down below in the comments. Desert 10, and you'll get 10% off your order. I don't get anything back from that. It's just a nice thing that they're offering for my viewers. Sorry, I had to take a sip of coffee. <coughs> my throat. Mm. So there we go. That's a really pretty picture. Now, DIY cross stitch. Mm. You, um, when you order cross stitches off here, unless they're de definitively marked as a Joy Sunday, you don't really know what you're going to get. So I didn't know I was going to get a DIY cross stitch. This is the paper pattern they send with it. It's got all the information you need, uh, the gridding, uh, the, the placement of all the symbols, the legend over here on the side, but it's very small. It's super, super small. And I suppose I could take a picture of it or I could blow it up with my printer, but it's really small. And I'm not real thrilled with that. You get two needles. And let's look at the canvas. Now the canvas is actually quite nice. So I can't be too hard on them. You've got your gridding along the side and up at the top. It tells you the uh, product number, 4550 size, and 129 stitches by 173 stitches. The legend over here is super clear, and if we look at the symbols for this, they're really clear too. Now I have to give you a warning, on these stamped kits, do not touch them with wet hands or sweaty hands because the ink on here will smear or disappear. A lot of people have an issue with the, the stamped kits and the colors they use for the designs. They don't match the floss colors. Um, and why do they have to make them so vibrant and bright? So totally different from the picture. And I think it's just for contrast so that you can see them uh, really easily. And ma it makes it uh, easier to stitch once you get used to it. And then when you're done, now this kit didn't come with instructions at all. And what they need to tell you is, if you don't already know, and if you're new to stamped cross stitches, when you're done stitching, if you soak this in warm water for, was it some say warm, some say cold, for 30 minutes or so, all the dye will go away. And all you'll be left with is your beautiful stitching. So you don't need to worry about this staying. It will disappear. When we look at the floss, oh my goodness, it's soft. It's got the item number written on here, the product number. Beautiful colors. Really pretty colors. And then these colors are the teals. These are the colors I love. I think that's beautiful. And you know what else you could do, too? What I might do, if you look at this picture, and you see it's got the gold the gold around the leaves and the gold in the middle or the petals and then some gold up here on the leaves. You could always use a gold thread in there and that would really just make it pop and accent it. I think I might give that a try. So this is not a bad kit. This costs $7.79. It's an 11 count. A quick measure on the actual size of the 
picture on the canvas. It's just short of 12 inches by a little over, oh, about 15 and 3 quarters, which is about 40, 40 by 30 and a half. So yeah, it is smaller than the 45 by 50 they state up at the top. But I think that's really pretty, and I think it's going to turn out really well. What do you think? What do you think about this? The pattern being so small. Does that make a difference to you? Is that important to you while you're stitching on a stamped um, cross stitch? It can be. I mean, I've all I I have not done a stamped cross stitch yet. Where at some point in time, I haven't. Um, referred back to the pattern just because I wanted to check something, um, make sure I was right. But does it matter to you? I'm curious. So there you go. This is from New Craft Day. They have such a variety of products. Uh, discount code, 10% off at Desert 10. So today we had the flower, the teal flower cross stitch, the beautiful butterfly, the stained glass butterfly, the blue pearl, and then the waterproof storage bag. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I want to thank you very much for watching. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you soon. Bye.